Third example, to solve in non-linear systems. This is a Mojara one. All right, this one represents or suggests a couple of different possibilities. We could solve the top one for an X or a Y, but what's that gonna lead us to? It's gonna lead us to roots. And each root is gonna have a plus and minus case. And that's gonna work. But it's gonna be more work. So, what I recommend is a dub sub. There is another method. We could complete the square in Y down here, or we can complete the square in X down there, and then we could solve for Y or X and plug it back in there, but that's going to lead to both fractions and roots. So I suggest another root, a dub sub. He's going to substitute in for W? No. When I say dub sub, I mean a double substitution. What do I want to do? I want to go, and if this is 1, and that's 2, I want to solve 1, 4, why not say, um, 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 y squared, y, I don't know, just cause, so then y is going to be equal to a 25, that's y squared is 25 minus x squared, all right, I'm ready for my first substitution. I'm going to call this 3. I'm going to sub boom, 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 3 into 2. Oh, and here's why. I'm going to eliminate each one of those variables one at a time. I seem to have lost my cap. And I'm not even wearing a hat. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take that and I'm going to sub it in there. So then everywhere I see a y squared, I'm now going to put 25 minus x squared. And that's still going to be plus 7x plus y minus 50 is equal to zero. Now I'm going to gather, collect, and combine. My like terms. Oh, uh, uh, you're out of here. Designer problem. I think it's going to work out. That's a 7x plus y minus 25 is equal to 0. I'm going to call that 4. Sure. So then I'm going to take 4 and I'm going to solve it for y. Y. I'm going to have y is equal to 25 minus 7x. Okay, call that 5. This is part of my dub sub. I subbed it once, and now I'm going to sub it twice. I'm going to take it to the top. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to throw that back into 1. Sub, sub, 5 into 1. Da -da -do -do. So then, I'm going to have an x squared plus, wait for it, wait for it. Everywhere I see a y, I'm going to put a 25 minus 7x. And then, that's going to be squared right there. Minus 25 is equal to 0. And that brings us over here. So now that I got this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply that guy out. Ooh, 25 squared. That's plus 625. Then I take this one times that one and double it. When I do, I get a minus 350x and then that one squared. That's plus 49x squared using my perfect squares. Oh, minus 25. That's equal to zero. Then I'm going to gather, collect, and combine. And I'm going to find that I have an, oh, 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 50 x's squared minus 350 x's, ooh, plus 600 is equal to zero. Now, I want to factor, but first, let's make our numbers smaller. And we'll do that by dividing everything by 50. So then I have an x squared, a yo 50, a yo 50, minus 7x, ooh, plus 12 is equal to zero. Nice numbers. Because now what? This cute problem. We have um, the factors of 12 that add to be 7. Are there any? You got to get that. 
You gotta get that four and three x and x. The sides are the same and they're both negative, negative, and it's still equal to zero. So that says my potential x's are gonna be a three and a four. Sure. And we're gonna explore both of those separately. I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna put it up into one of the originals. Might as well be one because it's a tighter one. So then if we let x equal three, then we are gonna get three squared plus y squared minus 25 is zero. So then, y squared, this is 9. 9 minus 25 is a minus 16. A minus 16, when I move it to the other side, is 16. So, y is going to be, you take the square root of both sides, but you're not going to forget that, plus or minus 4. And that results in two different solutions. That says, that says, that says, that when x is 3, y is 4, and when x is 3, y is minus 4? Huh, that's curious. But we'll explore our curiosity later. Now I want to check the other one. When? x is equal to 4. Sure. So now we're going to let x equal 4. And when we do, we plug it up into the original, and we're going to get 4 squared plus y squared is equal to 25. I went ahead and put the 25 over there. There we see that 16. 25 minus 16 is um 9. Fine. So then y turns out to be a plus and minus 3. So my two points down there are x is 4 and 3. Also, x is 4 and minus 3. But then we think, implicitly, we don't believe that two circles, if you put this in standard form, it would be a circle. Two circles can't overlap each other four times. Just think about it. All right, be about it. Let's take it to the head. We could take all those points, plug them back into the original, and see which ones work. But two of them don't. Let's go to the graph. So here I've graphed two things with my quick graph. It's an actual app on my phone. So I go and I zoom in. Dun, dun, dun. And I see 3 minus 4 is a real solution. And I also see that 4, 3 is a real solution. Those are the two that we want. The other two are extraneous. You are not a solution. And that was our Mojada example for solving nonlinear systems.